Since I started this channel, I've talked a lot about saxophone sound, embouchure, technique, how to get your fingers to move faster, tips for practicing, but I yet haven't talked about breathing. And breathing is a very, very important concept for you as a wind player. So let's check it out. Now, breathing is a very, very important topic that we as wind players have to know about. And at least we have to have a, a general idea about how the anatomy works in order to play better, okay? Now, if you're a beginner, don't worry too much about breathing, the breathing technique, just because you have a lot of things happening already. You know, you have to learn how to, you know, position your embouchure and th think about sound and all those things, okay? So we're gonna look properly at properly. I mean, we're going to look at how breathing works. And one thing, disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical person whatsoever. Okay. So if there's any imprecisions in the way I explain things anatomy wise, medical people, please forgive me. Okay. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to convey the idea of how the machine works, how the breathing machine works. So you have, you're able to visualize it. And then when you play, it will make more sense for you. Make sense. So we're going to start with the anatomy first, the anatomy part of how how we breathe and you know we're going to go into diaphragm and why the diaphragm is important and we're going to do an exercise after that on how to expand the essentially the lung capacity and how you can accept more air so that you actually retain that air and support the air all throughout your plane okay now if you're not too worried about knowing the anatomy part of breathing which i recommend but you don't have to okay you can skip to this little timestamp, and we're gonna go directly into the um, floor exercise okay that's it so before we begin if you enjoy the video give it a like and if you want to work more closely with me in my online mentorship program all the details are below and you can click on it and apply to the mentorship program with me okay so i'll leave you to it have fun and happy breathing you can say that yeah anyway <laughs> bye <laughs> Now let's get into the breathing part of this lesson. Okay? Now breathing is really important, not only because it will make you play better, but it will also allow you to be more musical and actually do what you want. Okay, So you're, you're controlling your breathing and you're controlling your playing rather than the other way around. Okay, So firstly, I'm going to give you a very short, raw, um, anatomy lesson because this is really important to to be aware of if there's any doctors out there medical people I'm really sorry about my raw explanation okay I believe it's gonna help people to have a, a better understanding okay so let's start firstly when you inhale okay air goes into your lungs easy of course we know that okay so we need to have as much air as possible into our lungs in order to support, in order to have a nice melody so we can actually play for a long period of time, okay? So we take less breaths eventually, okay? So, to give you an idea, the lungs go from the collarbones all the way to the end of the ribs, okay? To the last rib. So, they're massive, they're so big, okay? So, you want to fill these lungs with as much air as possible, okay? So, these are the lungs. Now, um, underneath the lungs, we have what's so called the diaphragm. Okay, now the diaphragm you can find it just below your ribs. Okay, you can see it. Okay, these are my ribs, and this is where your diaphragm is. Okay, the diaphragm is a um, dome shaped muscle that goes all around and it attaches somewhere here in your spine. Okay, so the diaphragm goes down and up, down and up. Okay, that's the movement of the diaphragm. Okay. Now, what I say is that the lungs and the diaphragm are really good friends, okay? Because they, I think they touch each other in a way with a, through a, a connective tissue or something, okay? If the diaphragm goes down, it means that the lungs have more room to expand. So if this goes down, lungs go like, oh, wow, we have more space, okay? When we breathe with the diaphragm, we just allow the lungs to expand even further so we can actually accept more air. Make sense? So that's the very overall explanation, okay, which is really important to know. I want to show you how the diaphragm moves and how my body moves when I actually use the diaphragmatic breathing, okay? Now, once, one thing that you might not know, everyone, everyone, everyone breathes using the diaphragm, okay? You might not know it, but actually you do it every time you sleep, okay? This is the, this is the deepest type of breathing, okay? 
The difference between breathing with the diaphragm and breathing with the chest is that breathing down here is deeper, it, it, it makes you relax further, okay? Breathing with the chest is this kind of, you know, like fight or flight mode kind of thing. You're like nervous, are you angry, are you scared? <laughs> you, you, you do that, okay? And if you use that type of breathing when you play, it's gonna be horrible because you're gonna get really dizzy, firstly, not firstly, firstly, okay? You're gonna get tired and your playing is gonna be um, bad, okay? Because you're not gonna be able to support the melody whatsoever, okay? So, if we go back to the diaphragm, I'm gonna show you how actually, how I breathe when I play. And so on. You can see my belly going all the way out, okay? Because what happens is when I inhale, my diaphragm goes down, and when it goes down, it pushes all the organs that I have, it pushes pushes them out like this. And that's why I have this belly here. But that's what we that's what we want, okay? So this is really important to to know and to be aware of, okay? Now there's an exercise that we can do that will help us with this. And for this, we have to go down on the floor. So we're on the floor, okay? We're gonna do this in order to improve the awareness of the diaphragm. Remember, you just want to isolate the movement of the diaphragm. You want to avoid any kind of movement in the chest, okay? And if we do it laying down on the floor, it's just gonna be easier to learn and to improve that awareness, okay? So let's go down to the floor. So, here, there's nothing really you can do, okay? There's nothing really you should do, apart from breathing. Let's just take a moment of silence, okay? And just observe your own body. Now, you should be feeling some movement in your belly, okay? You can see my belly goes up and down, okay? Because that's the natural way of breathing, okay? Especially when you're sleeping or just lying down, okay? So, we wanna use this type of breathing and actually uh, maximize it, okay? So, now, let's do something else. Now, I want you to pretend there's a strain attached to your belly button here okay so when you inhale someone is actually pulling that invisible string up so this whole thing will actually come out okay i'll do a few and you can do it with me whenever you want ready so think about the string someone is pulling and you inhale and then you just release <sighs> that's fine and then do it again String, invisible string, inhale, and then release, okay? This is really important to be aware of the diaphragm and this movement. Okay, this might be enough for those of you who have troubles in isolating the diaphragm, okay? If this happens to you, See, I start with my diaphragm and then I go into my chest, okay? It means that there's no isolation of the diaphragm, okay? So, you want to just use the invisible string method kind of thing, okay? In order to really isolate this part, okay? So that's what you should do. Now, next, we're gonna take it a little step further. Um, you're gonna need a very, you're gonna need a, a very heavy book. In this case, I have a five kilo weight, okay? but any heavy book will do, okay? So get that, and we're gonna essentially do a very similar thing, okay? So I'm gonna put the weight over here, okay? Have your book over here, okay? We're gonna still think about the invisible string, okay? Okay, so the string is still here, it's still pulling up, so the book will come up, okay? 
Now, on the exhale, this time we're gonna do something really special. We're gonna do a sound, which we can call it the Tz sound, which is T-S uh, letters. Tss, tss kind of thing, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna do it so quietly, so softly, that you're the only one who's gonna be able to hear it, okay? Now, in the recording, I don't know if the mic is gonna be able to pick it up, but it's gonna be so soft, so soft, that um, that's gonna be your aim, okay? Let's do it once, okay? Uh, you're welcome to do it with me or just watch me and then I'll talk through it. Um, but then I'll do it again anyway afterwards, okay? Ready? Let's do it. So, think about the invisible string, okay? Someone's pulling up and you're inhaling. And then, sound, so sound. Okay, I'm not even sure you can hear the sound, but that's actually a good thing, okay? You want to avoid having this kind of sound. Okay, because that's not what you want. You want to have a very quiet sound. Super, super soft, because the idea is that we want to strengthen the awareness of your diaphragm and we want to have the muscles all engaged when you play okay so when you bring the book up okay like this i see a lot of people doing this you know the book goes up and then goes down really quickly okay you want to actually make the book go down really really slowly and you do that by making a really soft sound okay so everything that you're pushing out is actually controlled okay Still once more. Ready? So, get the book on your belly. Think about the invisible string. Then, empty yourself. String and inhale. It's a sound. So that's the idea, okay? Because when you do that, all your muscles are engaged, so they're actually contrasting the weight of, of the book, in this case, the weight, okay? So you're pushing up with your muscles while the, the book pushes you down, or pushes the, the belt down, okay? The book is just a, an excuse to be more aware of your body, okay? But if you do that, um, this is really gonna help in the way you blow. So, because um, this usually fixes a lot of problems and, and you know with melodies and taking too many breaths or running out of breath it's just because the air is is going out too quickly so there's no real support the support comes when the muscles are engaged and you're really controlling the air that's coming out make sense so i hope that kind of makes sense and um it's gonna help a lot, okay? So do it whenever you remember, okay? There's no need to practice this, you know, on a regular basis. Uh, it's just um, it's just an awareness thing. Practice it once or twice and I'm pretty sure you'll get it quick, pretty quickly. It's not the end of the world. It's just, you know, trying to get that thing going and then eventually everything will click and then you'll be fine. So when you play, you, you will realize how much better everything will be.